Hi guys. So this video is kind of um, my attempt to show you how to actually paint skin tones using oils. This is my little setup. I need a better setup for sure. I kind of just cut palette paper and stick it in a little box. I've been doing this for years, um, but I do think I need a better setup just because this is so small. Um, but it works for now. It's just easily disposable, so I'll paint something and then I'll just rip this page off and toss it and use a new one. But, um, but yeah, so I kind of wanted to go over my paints. These are the paints I use. They're called Gamblin. And these are my main colors. There's a few other colors that I love, like this, um, this Radiant Green and this Radiant Violet. My dog got into this one. That got, he's a bad dog. Anyway, um, <clears throat> these are the main ones, however, that I use to do skin tones. So, um, you, you know, you got your white, which I'm almost out of, but, um, Ultramarine blue. This is I have other blues, but this is the main one I use for skin um, Just cuz <clears throat> It's kind of I'm not sure if it's like your truest blue, but it's just the other blues are meant to make um, Almost like for example the phthalo blue. It's a gorgeous blue um, You can make some beautiful purple colors out of this and some magentas um, I think you can also make teal out of this type of blue and keep in mind I, I, I'm gonna try to go over a whole color theory thing, but um, <clears throat> Different blues will make different Colors once you blend them so this phthalo blue is more for like your purples and your teals um, This ultramarine blue will just help you make and honestly any blue will make a brown but this ultramarine blue is my favorite one in order to make a perfect skin tone. So, um, <clears throat> moving on to these yellows. The yellows are super important. So, um, it, they might not seem like they're that different. But, this Hansa yellow is super important to making, um, to making the skin look a little bit brighter. And... Indian yellow is my favorite because it has this beautiful almost orange tone to it um, It looks orange, but it comes out with like the prettiest prettiest hues um, And then cadmium adds like a warmth to the skin and then I've got these three reds um, Again each red kind of does something different um, <clears throat> And again, they're they each achieve you, you have to keep in mind that everyone, I mean, I'm, I'm for the females out there, finding a foundation is so hard. A lot of people have to use several different foundations to match a skin tone. So the same thing goes for when you paint skin. So these three reds are important to making the skin look natural. So you're gonna use, and I don't have like a formula or anything, or like a drop of this, a drop of that, in order to find the perfect colors. Um, you just kind of have to, it's a little, you know, <clears throat> give and push, it's a little experimentation with what's gonna work. So, um, so yeah, that's just kind of the basics. I'm gonna try and do another video where I go a little bit more into detail. But um, these are all the colors I use to do skin tone. And um, I've been doing it for a really long time. I mean, I've been working with oils for about two, three years now. But as far as painting in general, I've been doing that for about 12 years now. So as far as like mixing color, um, it's kind of second nature to me. There's certain colors that are still kind of hard for me to mix, like a teal. Um, I'm kind of lazy. I, 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 I can mix it myself, but it's hard for me to come by it, so I just use this radiant green, which I love, and then you can add, like, um, some phthalo to it to make it darker. <clears throat> but this one's my, one of my favorites. It's really pretty. So, the way I always start out my paintings is just by adding a little dollop of paint to my whole palette.
And then here, this is my little, um, like my little mineral spirits, the oils that I use, or the, I'm um, sorry, the mineral spirits I use is this Gamblin Game Saw. And it's 100% um, pure odorless mineral spirits. And that's all I've ever used. So it works really well for me. And the other thing is that I don't like, I like, I love the part, the fact that it's odorless. I don't like it when I have like smelly minerals because it gives me a headache. Okay. So, it's kind of hard to show you guys at this angle. Um, let me try and turn this. So this is my piece right now. You can't see it. <clears throat> so I'll show you the piece in a little bit, but I kind of wanted to go over the blending of the actual colors right now. So um, you'll see it in a little bit, but the reference I'm working on, she's fairly tan so I always like to start kind of with like the cheeks area so this specifically that I'm doing right now is more for kind of the pinks of her cheek so I know that I want it to be almost like an orangey but I don't want it to be too orangey so I'm using the um, the cadmium yellow and mixing a little bit in with the Quintus with the magenta that I'm not sure how to say this Quina syndrome magenta so I'm just mixing a little bit in and now I've noticed it see so this is the thing it's a little bit um, trial and error but the great thing with oils is that you can always go over it just let it dry so that's too orange so that's totally not what I'm looking for so this is more the color I'm looking for And with this painting, I'll show you guys in a bit, but I have already done my acrylic underpainting. Um, <clears throat> I think I might do a video on how to do that. I mean, it's super quick. It's just kind of a wash. You don't need to do it with um, acrylic. You can actually use the oils, but I'm this painting, I'm like super late on. I have to turn it in next week. So I always do the acrylic just because of the drying time it's super fast and it's literally just a wash of paint so let's try so again to focus on the skin tones um, I like painting with like a really intense white highlight so even within the face itself there's so many different colors so there's not one skin tone to paint so let's see I'm using the yellow so she's pretty tan and then you go in with a little bit of blue so you basically are it's almost like so I, I can already see that's gonna be way too dark but the thing is that I add a lot of the mineral oils in order to make it super watery and I almost use this color as a shadow So then to do the lighter part, and again, I work in layers, so this is just kind of super preliminary. So, now I'm trying to work on a different area that has a little bit more yellow to it. And again, you have to kind of experiment with all these yellows. Again, I've got four yellows here. And you can kind of kind of try to compare it to like your hand like this girl's pretty 
tan and she might be darker than me but if I put my hand here you can almost try and, and that's like a good exercise like try and get the right mix in order to find your skin tone it's almost like when you go to the makeup place and they try to match your skin it's like I don't think I've ever gone and had somebody actually match it so if you get close enough that's good but remember it is important to have a little tiny bit of blue in there to get just that brown tone to it you're never gonna have it right unless you add a little bit of blue just a tiny Another thing to remember also is um, that um, only add if you're if you're new to painting and new to mixing your own colors, only add a tiny bit of blue at a time because if you add too much, then you kind of have to start all over, which is fine. You can just use that if you've messed up. Use that color as a brown, as like a dark brown. And then to make, there's an area on her forehead that's really dark. And I'm, I'm going to try and record this whole painting so you can kind of see like a sped up version of it. But there's an area of her head that's super dark, super tan. It's like her forehead. So it's the same thing. I'm using all the same colors to kind of try and get, it's just different, uh, different mixes of color. So I'm trying to get like a dark brown kind of reddish color so that looks pretty good and again the nice thing is like say this color and it's actually not say it's like not exactly what I want I'm gonna be adding layers to to her so as I go I can get close to the color I want and then you know, here I noticed that it needs to be a little bit more brown, so I'm going to add a little bit more blue. And a little bit more of this guy. So this might look kind of crazy as a skin color, but I need it in order to create that shadow. And then of course, after you've kind of uh, done this over and over and over for the entire painting, um, you know, for as far as the white highlights go, I kind of add them throughout. I don't do fully white. I kind of get like a lighter version of whatever I'm making the skin tone and kind of lay it down as a base. And after everything's dry I'll go in there with the pure white and add um, several layers of that in order to build up that intensity a lot of people think I'm using some sort of medium but it's just layers I'm not using any medium right now I mean I want to I want to experiment with some different mediums but right now all I'm using are my uh, gambling gamsa mineral oil spirits the 100% odorless So yeah, that's about everything I can think of to show you guys. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll make another video. But yeah, thanks for tuning in and uh, enjoy the rest of the painting.